I am super excited that the Butcher's Market Steak of the Month Club is featuring one of my favorite farms here in North Carolina and one of my favorite cuts, the Pork Porterhouse. One of the beauties of Cheshire Pork is they've been laying down genetics for over 40 years to build that inner muscular fat that we love to see. Uh, so it's different than a lot of pork uh, in the fact that it's got that flecked marbling in there. So we wanna celebrate the meat, the less we do to it, the better it's gonna be. I wanna celebrate this pork today with just using a little bit of the Butcher's Market house seasoning. And yet on the other side of it, I still got 30 years of growing up in the South and I like a sweet sauce on my pork chops, right? So we're gonna use a little bit of the Butcher's Market maple bourbon grilling sauce to just mop on two of these in the end. And then we're gonna do a taste test it's kind of best of both worlds. I want to celebrate this pork, but I love my sweet sauce, right? Uh, we're going to stabilize our grill today at 400 degrees and grill these pork chops direct. Let's get into the action. Let's get a little olive oil on these beautiful chops. And the reason I like to put olive oil is it's just going to uh, promote, promote heat distribution with the grill grates. Then we're going to sprinkle on this house seasoning that's beautiful stuff. We're gonna flip, same exact thing on the other side. Again, a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of house seasoning, and just like that, we're ready to grill. Our grill's stabilized at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's go ahead and open it up. And without giving it too much thought, let's put these beauties on. Look at that fat right there. We'll give this about five minutes, lid down, and then we're going to uh, give it a turn. So we're gonna close this dome. Eventually that, that fat is gonna render down, drip on the charcoal, and come up as blue smoke. So we're gonna season these babies with the smoke of their own drippings. Does that make sense? Beautiful stuff. Five minutes on the nose. You can see how that white's starting to creep up a little bit. That tells me we're gonna see some nice caramels. Oh, look at that, you beauty. Look at this one. <laughs> Stunning. This is this is a thing of beauty. This is an absolute thing of beauty. If you've not done the Cheshire Port Port Porterhouse, that's a lot to say. Cheshire Port Port Porterhouse, you gotta freaking do it. And it's super simple. I'm gonna close this, let it go for another three minutes. I like the caramelization I just saw. And then we're gonna flip these babies. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. While we're seeing all of this beautiful caramelization on the outside, you can be sure that in the inside, all those little flecks of fat that we celebrate in beef and in pork uh, are melting, the collagen's turning to gelatin. That's why we like this. Now, for years and years and years, we've been taught to cook pork to 155, 165. Folks, I'm telling you right now, we're gonna take these off at 145 and then let them carry over uh, just, a, just a couple degrees. You don't wanna overcook these babies, okay? It is okay to pull these at 145 and let them come up to temperature. Yes. We've got about another five minutes to go. Uh, remember, we said we were gonna baste two of these, so we'll just choose these. Look at the draw and I'm gonna paint the one side right now while that other side is finishing. And a little go a long way. You know, this has got that maple in it, so it's high in sugar content. Don't forget to get the edges. Ah, oh, the aromas. Just lovely. All right, closing the dome for, I don't know, two, three more minutes. Oh yeah. All right, we're sitting 145 on our chops. We'll stack and move. We'll let these rest and then come on back over here. Let's look at the two that we've painted. I'm going to flip and remember that's caramelizing. So we don't have a whole lot of time here. We're going to paint this side and just give it a minute to kind of adhere. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, let's give it a little flip. Look at that. Now, while that side is searing, let's go ahead and put our awesome sauteed Brussels sprouts with bacon right on the grill. And we're just gonna heat those Brussels sprouts and bacon up. 
while these beauties are resting and it's all gonna be ready at the same time. Oh yeah. Now for the difficult part. Again, we've gotta let this pork rest before we cut into it. If we cut into it right now, it's not gonna be the best version of itself, but at least we have these fun Brussels sprouts to play around with a little bit. Gives us something to do, you know, idle hands. Butcher Market's already done it for us. The Brussels sprouts, the bacon, all we gotta do is heat it up to temperature and we're ready to serve. I'm gonna close this dome and I'm gonna go find some patience. Let's check on our Brussels sprouts. Oh yeah, perfect. And that couldn't be any simpler. So now we're gonna cut these off the bone. We're gonna do our taste test. Uh, we're celebrating the pork here two different ways. We've seasoned it with the house seasoning blend and then we've used the bourbon, uh, the maple bourbon glaze. So let's go ahead and start with one of the uh, chops that is just the seasoning blend. I get really excited when I see these little bits of fat cap caramelized on the outside. That is my favorite part of the loin. Now we cut off the tenderloin. Beautiful little medallion there. Just show you right down the middle. That's what taking it to an internal temperature of 140, 145 gets you. Cooked all the way through with just a stunning moisture content still. I mean, I can't even help myself. We gotta have to taste this. That's my piece right there. Good, fantastic, fantastic. The seasoning is nice and caramelized, pronounced throughout the entire, entire tenderloin. I didn't even make it to using a fork. I tried. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get our, our Brussels sprouts on the plate. And that is hot and delicious. Heat and eat bacon Brussels sprouts. Easy peasy. And then let's do, let's do maybe our sauced one on this side. Same thing, we're gonna take off the loin first. All right, let's taste a piece of the, uh, not doing apples to apples, we're gonna do a piece of the loin on this one with the bourbon, with a, a maple bourbon. That takes me back. That is, that's a beautiful glaze. It caramelized up really nicely. The sugar content really helps it do that. Um, it just kind of caramelizes right on the heat of the tines of the grill. I'll be honest with you, they're both fantastic, but both really different. Just the seasoning and then the seasoning with the glaze, two different eating experiences, um, both equally fantastic. Imagine bringing that to the dinner table. Let's get a little taste of these Brussels sprouts. There's that bacon. I love Brussels sprouts. Just the right amount of salt. The bacon really sings. And good crunchiness to the Brussels sprouts. They did a great job of that. Um, folks, this has been one of my favorite offerings thus far from the Butcher Market Steak of the Month Club. This Port Porter House is a home run. It is definitely time for you to join the club. And folks, I look forward to seeing you next month. <music>